Hello friends, today we are going to see the problem of orthographic projection. In this problem, the figure shows the pictorial view of an object by using x direction complete the front view. From this direction, x direction we require to complete the front view. Next one is the top view and third one is the right hand side view of an object. For right hand side view, when we see the object from right hand side view, that object or that view we, have, we require to draw in profile plane. So, from right hand side view, we can draw towards the left hand side because here the view is appear towards the left hand side. So, vertical plane, here is the front view, here is the top view and this is the profile plane. So, initially, so draw vertical and horizontal line and place VPHP and finalize the position of front view, top view and side view. The next part it is to calculate the length of the object for front view, the length of the object and height of the object and total width of the object. So length of the object is total 18 plus 20 plus 18. So total length is 56. Height of the object it is a for base this is a base plate having thickness 8 mm and this block it is having 16 mm height so total 24 mm and total width of object directly we can see total width of object from this corner to this corner total width of object is total 32 mm okay the so next to initially when we draw the vertical and horizontal line to separate out the front view and top view we require to draw the offset lines for offset lines take 10 mm distance and draw vertical line similar way the same you can use and both side vertical line we can draw 10 mm offset lines similar way for the horizontal line horizontal line you can take the 10 mm offset and same line you can use mirror image this is the axis and then enter so white color lines are the 10 mm offset because of when we draw the front view and top view that is a maintain the gap between front view top view they cannot merge together so this is the place for to draw the front view this is the top view and and this side we can draw the right hand side view for front view x direction we can calculate calculate the total length of the object it is a 56 mm so for 56 mm we have to start from this point, this corner point. So white lines, projection lines, we can click on this point or we can take the pencil on this point and take total 56 mm and then enter. Total base plate thickness, base plate thickness it is given 8 mm. So this is the 8 mm thickness. Then take the 8 mm thickness of the plate, base plate. Then again, place plate it is a total 56 mm vertically 8 mm. so this is the base part but in this base plate we can see the four corners this is, this is the first corner for 12 mm then again from the center line we can take the center center line for total 56 mm and from the center we can see this edge and this edge also that is a visible edges and same the 12 mm from other side so total four edges for base plate those are visible so we require to draw these four edges in this base plate so we can take vertical line and select the center line then draw the center line from the mid draw the vertical line center line you can take violet white color and then take the 
line command from the center center to this is a 20 mm so for center line this is a from center to both side we can mark 10 mm and this point to here we can take 10 mm and vertical line 8 mm so similar way you can take so this is the front first edge second edge exactly from other corner that is the second from this corner to this corner distance is 12 mm so take from this point to horizontal distance 12 mm and then draw vertical line for 8 mm this is the edge then similar way we can draw the vertical line from this corner this corner we can take 12 mm horizontal distance and draw the vertical line and again from center to 10 mm distance and again draw the vertical line for 8 mm thickness so these are the four edges we can directly see from the front view this is the first first part or base plate we completed now the top portion the block portion we require to complete take the dimensions we can check from center to total height of this block it is a 16 mm and total width of this block it is 8 mm so from from midpoint to other side we can take 4 mm from center it is having thickness 4 mm and height is 16 mm and horizontally the thickness is 8 mm for this block this is in front view we can see the rectangular block so this 8 mm again total height is 16 mm lower direction and horizontally 4 mm so this rectangular block we can see in the front view also give the dimensions so total width so a total length of the object it is a 56 mm then this block it is having height totally 16 mm then again take the dimensions this total height of the object it is 24 mm so this much dimensions are sufficient two or three dimensions put in every view so this view it is a completed no any invisible part so no any dotted line so complete the top view we can complete the top view by using the same method so the top view we can we can see this top portion having the top portion that is a for the first we can complete the larger part for the base so take take the line command or line then the total base portion total length it is a for the base it is from we start from this corner for the top view this portion we can use to draw to top view from this point total length is 56 mm then total this is the 56 mm and then this block or this base plate it is having the width is 16 mm then take the 16 mm similar way incline portion so this incline portion having a 60 mm gap a similar way you can draw here also so 16 mm for both sides and you can take the reference then from midpoint center point to total width of object in top view we can use two parameters length of the object and width of the object width of the width of the object is 32 mm so take mark exact on this point lower direction 32 enter and you can take for reference purpose you can mark here from this point to this point is total 32 mm 
total width of object. You can change the dimensions from this point to this point to the 32 mm. Then next part we can draw the mid portion mid portion from the center line so this is a critical to draw because of we don't know any angle so for this portion so 10 mm from center line for both sides from this point 10 mm and total from this end to this end 20 mm and directly finally we can connect this end portion to end part sorry we initially we required to draw the 12 mm portion that is a horizontal part we missed that so from this point to horizontally 12 mm enter similar way for other side also enter and then we draw the inclined part more of the connected similar way to this end to this end so this is the base plate top view we can visualize this part that is having total length is 56 width is 30, uh, 32 mm and mid portion it is having exact Exact, exact, exact 20 mm. Okay, so from center line, we can see the 20 mm distance, and now we complete the block that is the top part. Take line command from this portion the horizontal total width of the object at this screen then we can find the ortho mode then horizontal distance is 4 mm vertically total it is a 24 in top view we can see the rectangle part so 24 mm then again width of that block is 8 mm then again take the 24 mm vertical and horizontally complete the 8 mm so this is the top portion we can see the rectangular part and in this block we can see the edge this edge it is present from the from this end to this end distance is 14 mm so again take 14 mm, 14 mm distance and then draw the horizontal line for 8 mm so this block we uh, complete and now we can see the top view exact top view like this then using this front view and top view we have to complete the side view for side view we can take projection lines we can complete projection lines take projection lines from this end first we require to draw the 45 degree line so easily we can transfer the dimensions from midpoint ortho of xz Okay, so 45 degree line and 
then take the point projection line from this node to up to this okay from using this projection lines we can take the width from the top view and height from the front view so side view required total width and the height now we require to complete the side view also in side view so base first we can complete the base part take line command from this corner from this corner this is the corner point total width is 32 mm from this point to this point total 32 mm this point to next point we can specify that is 32 mm then base plate height is 8 mm again draw the 32 mm line and vertical 8 mm so this base part and also we can see this edge that is a present exactly 16 mm from this corner to this corner distance 16 mm and we can see this edge dark edge we require to draw horizontal line 16 mm and then draw vertical 8 mm line now this is the base plate completed because of this edge from this edge this is a overlap so dotted line on which we can draw the dark line so do, uh, there is no any invisible part now we can complete the top part for that purpose take dimensions and from this corner from this corner total height of the block is 16 mm so take line command from this corner to height is 16 mm then horizontal distance horizontal distance total it is a 14 mm 14 mm 14 mm and then escape out and we know that base portion of this block it is having 24 mm so take from this corner to next point specify for 24 mm we don't know the angle so we can take the two lines that is a first upper side it is a 14 mm and lower side 24 mm and the simply connect the end points we get the side view so also give the dimensions linear dimensions so the, this width already we given so total 24 mm height total 24 mm height then this part 14 mm 14 mm distance so that much dimensions are sufficient now right here this is the front view this is the front view of object this is the top view Again, this is the right hand side view. 